now the last file we need to program is the module itself so let's use notepad plus plus to program it this is the xml okay so to begin in we are going to write just like ordinary uh, php code uh, the first thing we begin every module and every component and plugin in the uh, joomla framework is with this line of code defined underscore j exec or die uh, this line of code basically what it does is restrict access to the, the module uh, because we don't want a malicious user to execute the module uh, directly from uh, the browser Res restricted access and then php and now the first thing we need to do is grab the parameters so the first parameter is the who uh, params get and we want to get the variable uh, who which we declared in the xml uh, file the second parameter is the language itself so params and i called it la language this is not for, from the database this is from the xml uh, file so now from the database we need to uh, grab uh, the comment i have here an error the comments that uh, correspond to the uh, language selected so uh, db equals e commercial g factory this is how joomla uh, creates a connection to a database so now we have the connection we need to write a query so the query is uh, ordinary sql uh, queries S uh, select all from uh, gos uh, what did i call it the ls and uh, we will concatenate that with the following where language is like because I need to escape uh, this variable here uh, which is uh, dollar uh, l it needs to be holded in two quotes so now I have my query let's set the query and execute it uh, db uh, set query and the query is query so now I have my query set, let's execute it. Command equals db load object list. This function here will return a list of records returned by this query here. So we have our uh, list, let's uh, check if there is something in it. So count comments so we count and if there is nothing we just tell the user echo there is nothing to say and since this will be displayed as a, a php code let's add the php paragraph tag okay and if there is something to say we are going to use a loop for each command as command and read every record in the list and when we read a record we just display it to the user so again with uh, with html tags and j text underscore and we are going to grab the comment and from the database this is this uh, variable here and the comment itself is from the uh, database the field in the uh, database and concatenate that with a closing paragraph tag okay then also we are going to display who said uh, the thing in the first place so oh, it's just a variable and concatenate that with 
closing please tag okay now i think we have uh, finished here so let's save this and quit all together and now to create a module we just uh, compress this send compress yes and here i have my module so let's go and install it to install it i must be the administrator okay admin and a password can remember so i go extensions and install and browse then i will have to be desktop and look for the module pls so i have the module and upload file and install okay it have been uh, installed and here you see the, ex the description we uh, wrote in the xml file so we go to extensions module manager and there indeed we find our uh, module but it's enabled so let's go and see what's in it and here are the parameters we have defined so say it and the language name so let's change this to my name hacking because it's me who said <laughs> and enable it yes uh, save now the module is uh, displayed so let's cross our fingers and test preview and there it is it's working but there is nothing to say so uh, why uh, there is nothing to say because we didn't install the uh, table so let's go to local host and execute the php my admin hmm, i think it's the call for the prior <laughs> 12 okay anyway so let's go to uh, y test and uh, go to import then let's import the uh, files so let's and we will go into import create title and go okay that uh, the, ex the query has been executed let's now import the data so browse and insert data open and go so there we go we have inserted three uh, rows okay now if i refresh there is nothing to say so basically i have made some error and now it's time to show you how to debug an installed uh, module so we go to the module folder and look for our module here it is so let's open the two files this one and the other one xml and look what's wrong with it so i will need to look for the variables ah here i just uh, there is uh, an uppercase so uh, i need the l in lowercase save that and now in the module let's uh, check oh it's okay so here i will read the code and see the silly mistakes i have made okay Moment. so first let me ah here i see a problem this is a it's not a, a commercial so let's save and now go to the joomla and refresh ah so here we go it's very good language hacking okay so let's change the parameters and uh, now choose uh, for example uh, javascript and let's say hacking in all in uppercase save and refresh and there we go the de facto language of the web it's uh, javascript so thank you